For each graph, find the equation of the inverse. Draw the inverse graph using the mapping shown, then find the equation of the line. Reflect the graph across the line y equals x. Now use a slope point form of a line, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, to write the equation of the inverse. The slope is a negative 1 over 2, and a point on the line is negative 9, 0. Plugging in values for the slope and point gives y minus 0 equals negative 1 over 2 times x minus negative 9. Simplify to get y equals negative 1 over 2 times x plus 9. Multiply negative 1 over 2 through the brackets to get negative 1 over 2x minus 9 over 2. We can replace y with f inverse of x, since the inverse graph is a function. Now we'll look at a different way to solve this problem. Find the equation of the original line, then find the inverse algebraically. The slope of the original line is negative 2, and a point on the line is 0, negative 9. Plugging our values into the slope point form of a line gives y minus negative 9 equals negative 2 times x minus 0. Simplify to get y plus 9 equals negative 2x. Isolate y. The equation of the original line is y equals negative 2x minus 9. Now we'll find the equation of the inverse algebraically. Swap x and y. Rearrange the equation to get the term with y on the left side. Divide both sides by 2 to get negative 1 over 2x minus 9 over 2. Since the graph of the inverse is a function, we can replace y with f inverse of x. The inverse we obtained using method 2 is the same as the inverse we obtained using method 1. Now we'll move on to part b. The first method we'll use to solve this problem is to draw the inverse, then find the equation of the graph. First draw the inverse by swapping the x and y values of every point on the graph. We have the right side of an upside down parabola with a vertex at 4, negative 3. The inverse equation is y equals negative x minus 4 squared minus 3, with the domain of x is greater than or equal to 4. Now we'll solve this problem using a different method. Find the equation of the original graph, then find the inverse algebraically. The equation of the graph is y equals the square root of negative x plus 3 plus 4. It is a square root function, reflected about the y-axis, and translated 3 units left and 4 units up. Now we'll find the equation of the inverse algebraically. Swap x and y. Bring 4 to the left side of the equation. Now square both sides to eliminate the radical. This gives us x minus 4 squared equals negative y plus 3. Multiply both sides by negative 1.
Rearrange the equation so y is by itself. We have now found the equation of the inverse graph. The domain is x is greater than or equal to 4. This is the same result we obtained in method 1.